Hello, so I want to demo the PagerDuty data source. This is the configuration page and the only thing you need to put here is the API key. Once this is configured, you can start using it. So with this data source at the moment, you can fetch and list all the incidents or just get the data for a specific incident. Let's start with listing all incidents. You can provide some additional parameters here. By default, the data source will fetch incidents created within the time frame of the dashboard, but you can put some custom dates here as well. You can provide some additional parameters like the incident status you want to get or the urgency or service ID, team ID, whatever. Let's see how this works. So we get some data, right? But that's a lot of fields. I don't want to have that many. So I can filter them, right? In the response parsing options, can select some fields I want to show, for example, urgency and status. Then let's add this to the dashboard. And then we can also use this data source to get a specific incident. Right? For that, we need to provide some ID of the incident. I want to show how this works using a variable. So if I go to the dashboard settings, I can add a new variable, I'll name it incident. So I'll pick the data, pager due to data source, again, list incidents. And then here I will select, I need to select two fields. So one, the first one will be the label and the second one will be the value of the variable. So this is my preview. And then I go back to the dashboard and then I need to update my query and put the variable here. All right now this should work. Yes. So now whenever I update this variable, I'll get the specific incident. All right. For example, if I pick 30 days, I'll get more data for the variable. Actually, I need to choose time range change to refresh the data for the variable. Let's see how this works. All right, so if I pick 90 days, yeah, I get more. And then whenever I change this, I get new data here, right? Yes, and then the other way you want, you can use this data source is to show annotations when the incidents were created. For example, I use this random walk query and then I will create an annotation. Again, list incidents. And then I need to select some fields here. So a time will be created time. The title will be summary, for example. A text will be I don't know, status urgency. It's enough. Let's see how this works. So these are my annotations, right? I get the data the title status and urgency so that's how this works all the best